What's up YouTube, I'm Ben Price and welcome back to another episode of Building Blanca. Today is number seven and we are getting really close to the end. As you know, Blanca is actually already done and available for rent. If you are interested in, in the San Diego area, info will be at the end. And speaking of, let's just get into today's video. As you guys know, apologies for vertical video, but good news is today is the last one. And with that, enough blah, 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 let's just get into it. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Building Blanca. We've got a couple cool things coming up in today's video, but first, I wanted to show you guys this cool thing that this new camera I got does. You don't always have to film in, in vertical. Sometimes you can film in horizontal. It's, it's kind of cool. I think you guys are going to like it. It just takes a second to get set up, um, so just bear with me here for a second, all right? Yeah, sometimes it can be a little tough, but I think it's worth it. There. That's kind of nice, right? I like it. Well, anyway, let's get into today's video. Hey, everyone. All right, got a couple exciting things going on today. The first one, I'm cutting a big hole right here and installing the sink. So let's get some tools ready and start cutting. Wait, hold on, it's, what the? There we go. This thing doesn't always work, you know? It's great when it does, but not always. Woo! That was a lot harder than I want it to be. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm sweating so much. But it's done, it's rough, uh, let's clean it up now. All right, so we got that all cleaned up. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm making an absolute disaster in here. So real quick, we're gonna take the countertop off, move it into the garage so I can make a mess there where it's much easier to clean up. Okay, so we got the countertop off, it's in the garage, and uh, now we can keep working. I'll, uh, I'll fully admit that I knew it was gonna make a mess in there, but I was kind of thinking that with the countertop still attached that I would have more leverage and it would make it easier to cut. Anyway, got it in the garage, now I can make as much mess as I want. So the next steps, we're gonna use my handy dandy router and this little 45 degree bevel cut. The square edges here just doesn't really look like anything special, so with the 45 it'll just, it'll have like a nice little extra flair to it and look just a little bit more finished than if I left it straight here. Now I'm gonna be doing this to the sink here, um, but also to the entire front edge and, uh, and the side edge from where you enter the van on the side doors. All right, that was pretty easy, come check it out. Okay, so now I've got this nice 45 degree angle here running all across uh, all the edges. And I've also got it here in the sink all the way around. So like I said, it, it doesn't really add too much function. It's just kind of a nice finish to everything. So the next step, I'm gonna flip this whole thing over. I'm gonna do kind of the, the same 45, but much shallower on the bottom side, just to take off the bite. I don't want anyone hitting it and getting hurt that already happened to Emily, so that's why I'm doing it. But anyway, we're gonna flip this over, do that other 45 degree cut around the bottom and test fit the sink. The way that that's gonna get done is with some mounting brackets. Um, but the first thing I have to do is embed these lugs, I guess I'll call them. They have to get sunk into the wood for some T-nuts to get screwed into, and that's what's gonna hold the sink on underneath the countertop. So 
So that's the sink test fit. Um, it's roughly centered right now. I'll be able to tweak that better when I have it in the van um, so I can actually see where this is from the top. I think I actually have to go do that now because the next step is gonna be to cut the hole for the stove um, over on this side, but I don't exactly know where that hole is gonna be until this is on the cabinet. So I guess we're putting this whole thing back on the kitchen cabinet in the van, just to take it out and cut more holes. Friends, I, uh, I think we have a little bit of a problem here. Someone forgot to measure the stove when he built the cabinet, and that someone, this guy. I'm uh. I'm a, I'm a little bummed. No, I'm, I'm really bummed. <laughs> I'm really bummed that I made this mistake because the cabinet's too far along to redo and, uh, and I don't really have any other choice other than to move the stove. Fortunately, the other part of the cabinet is large enough. I will have to make some modifications, but it'll work. I am gonna have to lose this nice view that I get from having the stove right here in the door but I would much rather have a finished kitchen than start all over again. So that's where today's video ends. Um, I was ready to make the cut here. I wasn't ready to make the cut there. Now I'm gonna have to do more measuring to make sure that I don't end up backing myself into an even worse corner. And instead of pushing through today, which is already getting a little long, I'm gonna go take a break and come back with a fresh head. All right, everyone, that is another build episode down in the books. Big question though, what happens to that stove? Spoiler alert, I figured it out in the next episode. But before we get to that next video, if you are in the San Diego area and are interested in renting out Blanca or any of our other rigs like Sylvia or Beatrix, which are either coming soon or available to rent, depending on when you watch this, head to www.vamanosvans.com to learn more or book now. And uh, that wraps it up for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you'd like to see more or just help me get this video out to more people, go down below, make sure to like the video, share it with someone who's interested in van life stuff. Leave me a comment if you have any questions about van life or about building your own rig. And as always, thank you so much for watching and supporting what I'm doing here. We'll see you guys back in the next one.